shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. I bent down then so I could pick it up because I've got it between my legs. I can't do the smiley clappy thing while it's in my hands. Um, what we're going to be looking at today, seeing as though I've just picked it up, is the uh, Elements Tech case from Alpaca. The reason I'm doing this mainly is because um, I notice a few of you have seen that I've had this uh, kind of early from Alpaca and there's quite a few of you asking because you're part of the Kickstart, Kickstarter and this is currently on Kickstarter so I thought it would be really well timed to give you some more information on this and my thoughts on it. I've had this for about a week now, um, I've tried it with a different type of loadouts and different ways in which you can carry it um, and I'm very impressed with it I, you know I find with alpaca gear that I generally am very impressed with what they do and I think that comes down to the fact that they have got some excellent gear nerds and I hope they take that with with the um, the absolute respect coming from a bag nerd myself um, they've got some absolute amazing guys working there on products like this so what I'll do as I usually do I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a close look at this while I'm doing that um, if at all you find this useful or you enjoy it then please feel free to hit the like subscribe and share that would be amazing but let's turn the camera around and take a closer look okay so here's an angle that I've never tried before the classic lap shot now as we usually do we'll go around uh, some of the measurements some of the materials and then the features of this awesome little um, tech case um, so measurements wise it measures in at 240 millimeters by 140 millimeters by 65 millimeters deep and has a total capacity of 2.1 uh, liters which um, whether you're using this as a tech case as it is designed for or whether you're using this um, because of its modularity which we will certainly have a look at you can use this uh, as, a, as, a, as a you know a daily sling style bag um, then you know there's there's just enough for you to be able to keep just what you need for the day here in one bag materials wise um, now actually, so we'll actually we'll come to the materials. So, so uh, as far as the zippers are concerned, I'll, I'll touch on that bit first because hopefully it'll make sense, especially when we get back to the to the materials. Um, all of the external zippers, uh, you'll see there is a, a zip compartment here, and there is another large zip that goes so that you can get into the main compartment. All of the external zips on here are um, YKK AquaGuard zippers to make sure that whatever you've got in here, especially as it's a tech case you can do your best to make sure that that water isn't going to get in there. Um, now getting, uh, and there are two internal zips, um, which aren't AquaGuard, mainly because, you know, they're, they're internal, so hopefully you're not gonna have any issues with water once it's, once it's actually in there. Um, materials wise, there are three versions of this for uh, three different materials. There is a 500D Kodra material, the one that I have here, this is an X-Pack material, uh, which is the X-Pack VX21. And something that I learned today, um, so that the 21 numbers refers to the denier of it. So the 21 is 210 denier. Uh, and there is also um, another X-Pack, which is the, um, the X50, which is a 500 denier. So there you go, you know, every day is part of a learning curve, isn't it? Um, and depending on the version that you get will depend on the weight. Now, when we're talking of the differences on the weight, the, the weight differences between the three versions is very slight. Um, the lightest one is 250 grams. Um, the, the heaviest one, if, if you really call it heavy, um, is, an is an extra 40 grams, which when you bump it up to 240, 200 and, <laughs> my maths is terrible. My dad's a maths teacher, he killed me for that. When you bump it up to 290 grams, you know, you, there, there isn't really much between those. So going round the bag, um, on the front here it is a completely 
flush front apart from this zip pocket uh, which gets you access into I suppose we could call this um, the front quick access pocket there is a small little tab here on the side I think as far as Alpaca go with their branding you know it is really nice and minimal and I, I, I like the aesthetic that they go um, as far as their branding is concerned but that, that's just here on the side but you know it's completely fresh there are two vents here which is used um, as, as gusseted expansion ports so that if you want to put something in here it just makes it a little bit easier to get in and out of. The bottom is completely flush. All of the sides, hopefully we'll be able to see around the sides here, um, is where the ambi open um, zippers go. The zippers on here, well you know I've mentioned that they are AquaGuard, they are also, they also have the eye opens on there so if you did want to lock this um, then you, you can certainly do that if you're, you're certainly worried about valuables. And then on the back so rather than having the X-Pack on the back like um, Alpaca have done with quite a few of their other slings, um, because it's a reasonably high abrasion area, although the X-Pack um, fabric is very well um, suited for, uh, you know, its anti-abrasion qualities. Um, they use this ballistic nylon on the back just to make sure that, you know, it is extra protected. And then we have these two eye um, loops here, which, you know, we will definitely get back to those. And, you know, kind of touched on it, but that, that's kind of part where the modularity of this. Predominantly, it is a tech case, it is the Elements tech case, um, but if you did want to use this uh, and there, as, a, as a sling, you know, there, there are different ways in which you can, you can carry out this, which, you know, we'll have a look at. Okay, so getting back to the front, as I've already mentioned, you know, here on the front, there is a quick access pocket where at the moment I have my mobile phone in here and this is where you get the first look at this internal fabric. Now, it's very rare I gush over internal fabrics. This is sick, this really is rad. So, I've not, I mean, I'm sure it's probably out there, but it's the first time I've come across this. So this is, um, this is honeycomb ripstop nylon and this is a 210d honeycomb ripstop the color of it blood orange i can say that that's sick and yeah okay that gets my bag nerd juices flowing blood orange honeycomb ripstop yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's all about the features. It's all about those little details. Blood orange, honeycomb, 210D ripstop. Yeah, okay. So that's that little pocket here on the front. Um, one thing to note, which, you know, again, I, I fully appreciate that with Alpaca, they do put a lot of thought into here. So rather than the zip pockets coming down just to where the corner is, the zips come further round. And I'm just doing this in such a way that all of my contents is going to fall out, which makes it easier to make sure that when this splays open, you're not going to be putting any pressure on those zips. Um, any pressure, well, there, there is no pressure because it, 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 the... The, um, the zips come all the way down to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is, just so this is hopefully a little bit easier to look into, is I'm just going to peel these back so that way when I open this you should hopefully be able to see in. Now I'm going to name this the back mainly because that's the back and I, I'm going to call this the front because this is where that front access pocket is. So we'll go through each of these but hopefully you'll be able to see that this is very well engineered in the way that it concertinas open. Some extra points to point out, all of the stitching in here is perfect as you know I've come to expect from Alpaca. There is a little bit of branding that you have in here, there's a little Alpaca logo on this um, little tab. Um, all of the stitching is completely reinforced, so all of the stitching around the outsides is reinforced with additional webbing. Um, even across the tops here where you have these extra pockets, there's some there. This one isn't, but that, that will make sense in a second when we look at the difference between these three section dividers that we have here. So on the front, as I say, you know, I'm calling this a front, there is a quick loop. And in that loop you can put a pen, this is the Bastion pen, this thing is a beast, honestly it's a freaking tank, um, there'll be a review on that in the future. Um, so that's what you can put in there, so if you're using this as a tech case, if you have a stylus or anything like that, that will perfectly fit in, so you know you can grab that quite quickly. 
on the front then we also have two large pockets here is my um, my uh, alpaca zip pouch which you know fits in perfectly and then I've also got some ranger bands if you're not using ranger bands come on you need to use ranger bands always keep some with you um, but they're perfect to be able to slip things into and have easy access to you so as this as I would wear this across my chest or belly here as this opens up these are perfectly fitted there to be able to get things like wallets and that sort of stuff then as mentioned you then have three sections now all in all there are 12 pockets or 12 sections individual kind of sections in which you can organize on here you know one two three four and you know there's some little secrets in here um, but within this main section it's then subdivided into three larger sections and then there is an extra section here at the back um, but you have these um, section dividers let, let's call them section divider sleeves or you know something like that for now um, so I have a little notepad in there you can see that that opens up this section divider here has uh, has a bit of rigidity to it now it's enough that if you want to put some glasses in here it will mold itself around the glasses hopefully as you can see um, however there's sufficient rigidity on it so that if I want to put a little flashlight on there if I want to put look at this this is new Spyderco exclusive that uh, something coming on that soon um, you can clip those to that and you know you can slide them along perfectly behind here in the middle section I've got my sunglasses and I've also got a large um, three meter um, charge cable mainly because you know it's just it's just nice to be able to not have to sit too close to something when I'm charging so then there's this section and then on the back here I've got another external HD disk drive and there are those three sections a couple of things to point out and I think this has been again it's you know it's been it's been very well thought out so each of these subdividers if I put my finger in there hopefully you can be able to see that they're not actually stitched into the bottom so if you did want to put maybe your sunglasses here in the middle and this is a section that you know might be something that's larger in there these things these subdividers will then uh, move around within there so that if it is larger on the bottom in this section it will make sure that it gives enough space for that or otherwise you know if you have a small piece in here and you you, you know you've got a large thing here in this front section these things do move around which I think is pretty good it does mean that maybe if you've got something small in there and that it's it it would possibly pass between them but again, you know, Alpaca have thought of that with these extra pockets here and there are two internal zip pockets here and here. So this zip pocket, when this opens, you know, YKK zippers on there, you can put the things that might possibly slide around underneath here, you can put those into here. So there I've got a little titanium coin, I have a little lighter, but then additionally, inside here which is you know as this is designed to be a tech pouch there are three additional pockets these pockets on the outside are slightly smaller which are going to be perfect for things like sd cards whereas if you need um a, something to larger to fit in there here i've got a quick pocket slice then you no know, it fits in perfectly that zips up and then we have the last which is this last divider which really is less of a divider but more of an additional pocket for um, a rear pocket here at the back but additionally Alpaca have thought again and added another zipper to that so that if you wanted to put something larger into here um, although my mobile phone's here at the front you can easily fit uh, a large mobile phone into there so that it's it's away from prying hands if you didn't want it on the front then behind that as I mentioned you know there's a lot of pockets in here and a lot of organization if you need it there is another large zip pocket uh, sorry another large uh, dump pocket the zip pockets uh, it's, it's here on the front but hopefully you'll notice as I push this so you can see that there's some volume added to this the length of this flap is actually greater than the length of the back so if you did want to put a couple of large items in here maybe there's a charging cable and my, mobile, and my glasses as well, then they will all be able to fit in. 
a lot of thought. I can honestly, you know, I'm getting back to those bag nerds. We all love nerds. We all need to fly that nerd flag and clearly a lot of bag nerds have put a lot of thought into this on exactly how it can be used when you want it slide those down and it all perfectly concertinas open so that you can get to exactly what you want now i've touched on these loops on the back um so when you get this it will come with let me just grab the straps it will come with this one inch strap um, it's all high grade, um, again, as you expect from Alpaca. It all comes with this high, really nice, really smooth webbing. And the webbing on this is very similar to the webbing that you get on um, a seatbelt in a car. You know, it, it's, it's really nice. If you have to worry, you know, you're wearing this in the summer and it's, it's catching on your neck, well, it's just, it's just not even going to catch. Um, it's, it's really silky smooth. The way that these clip on is with these uh, clip springs unless what are these called i mean i call them clip springs what does everybody else call them um but once they're on you know you, you push that back over there and that will that will keep that so you can put those in each of the corners um to wear this as a sling now there are some additional ones alpaca have been good enough to send these to me as well so that you can get an idea these aren't included with the, the with the tech case um, but these are additional ones and they're not particularly expensive i think this one was something like ten dollars i think this one was 10 to 15 dollars I'll, I'll put the information down here but they're the prices that are part of the are part of the kickstarter um so they may vary when these actually come come to market sorry i'm i'm back in my marketing speak from my my day-to-day -day job um but you, you'll be able to see those on on the, on the website but you know it's, it's just to give you an idea of what what's also available so the first one is this little hand um hand loop so that goes on in exactly the same way with these uh with these uh, spring clips <laughs> when i first saw this you know it just reminded me of a clutch bag but i'm totally going to use this when i go out to see clients there's a lot of symposiums that i go to where you know I'll, I'll be in with one doctor for two or three hours and then i'll have to rush across to the other side of a convention center to meet with some other boffins so this is actually going to get used i'm totally going to use this mainly because i can throw it in there grab it grab my laptop and you know i'm gone um so that's that's this little hand strap but then there is also i think what they're calling the pro strap so this is very similar to the regular style straps that you get um from alpaca so it's one and a half one and a half inch webbing it's the same really nice soft supple webbing um but you also get the maglog mag lock on there as well which is really fidget friendly sliding that apart um, on the ends it's super reinforced to make sure that this is nice and tough and you get still the same spring gate lock um, style fastenings um, to put that on there. Personally when I have this I, I, I wear it so it's kind of asymmetrical. I have one side that's slightly longer than the other that way when it's on my chest the way that I wear it it, you know, it, it fits and it, it, it lands just exactly where I want to have it. And as far as wearing this whilst you're out and about, you know, it's exactly what you expect from alpaca. It sits perfectly. It's certainly a joy to carry. Um, because of, you know, I've spoken quite a bit in the past about certain slings wanting to roll because of the weight that's in here. Um, alpaca have done another good job of making sure that the way that the weight is distributed the way that the corner anchors are used and the fact that the back is completely flush when it's on your chest or you know wherever it is it's it's easy to get into but it doesn't want to roll forward you can get at your tech items that concertina straight open you can get what you need um, and then Put it away if needs be when it's on your back it does exactly the same and sits nice and flush currently i'm using the pro sling um for no other reason that it's the last one that i had on the one that comes with it which is the one inch webbing fits and you know you, you certainly don't tire of having it on after some time um and you know both are both are nice but the pro sling for me you know it's that it's that mag magnetic fid lock that's just a bit too fidgety um that that certainly that extra added bonus that i'm, I'm certainly going to use when when i'm when i'm carrying this 
So there you go, hopefully this has helped. As I mentioned at the beginning of this, so this is still currently on um, Kickstarter, so I noticed that just talking to a few of you and you, you, you're still wondering about it, um, I definitely recommend this. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me free of charge. Hopefully you'll have seen from previous pieces of content that I make, um, I, I always try and make sure that I give honest um, and you know, it, it, it's always my opinion. Although this was sent to me free of charge, I've certainly not been paid favorably, or certainly not been charged, certainly not being paid to, you know, talk about this favorably. Um, it's it's a great little tech pouch. Plus the fact that you've got the modularity that you can wear this as a sling. It's it's great to be able to have have both of those options. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave some of the information below. I'll leave some links so that you can you can certainly check this out while it's on Kickstarter. And then hopefully um, when it comes live on their main website, then you'll, you know, you'll be able to purchase it directly from Alpaca. I'll leave some of my links in the description below if you want to follow me on uh, YouTube. That would, uh, YouTube, we're on YouTube, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, that would be awesome. And hey, I've seen that they've just um, set up this new thank you kind of button. Check out that thank you button down there. That's pretty cool. Um, but for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay UDC. Good plane. When you ready?